walkthrough video of 8219 Sterling Falls. We are located here in Lake Ridge Falls, and that Lake Ridge Falls is a 55 and over community. It is gated, it is uh, maintenance free, and it's a really nice community. This particular home is located very near the entrance. Built in 2003, it's 2,200 2, square feet. And like all the homes here in Lake Ridge Falls, um, it is maintenance free, meaning that uh, the association takes care of your landscaping and the exterior. And that's why all the paint is one color, pretty much. And so that's, that's real nice. Um, this is a big home, so it's bigger than usual. So its price per square foot is actually pretty reasonable. For 2,200 square feet, this is low, listed at uh, two, uh, 345. So that puts it at about $155 per square feet. All the rooms are large in here, so when I, it just seems large. So you have this dining area, and that opens onto this kind of sitting area with some furniture that was left behind. I wonder why. Um, but it has high ceilings. I like it's got a very grand entrance. Um, you know, it's probably 12 feet right here in the foyer. I guess I'll start over here and uh, we're gonna call this um, we're gonna call this bedroom number one, though this is probably better suited as a den. So there's tile throughout, but there's uh, carpeting in the bedrooms. I do like the plantation shutters, the high ceilings, no crown molding. Um, but it's nice. So we have a little, well, I guess we'll call it a linen closet, guest closet. And this would be the guest bathroom. Probably the original 2003 uh, vanity top, tub, shower. These tubs are fiberglass, I can tell just by looking at it, um, of that era, very typical. So then this would be bedroom number two. Again with plantation shutters, um, not a big room, about the same size as that other one. And, you know, I'm going to, before I forget, there is another bedroom room over there. So, really has a lot of bedrooms here. It's, a, it's pretty vast, I have to say. It does open up on a big part of the lake, which is really nice. And um, so this is a big open living area. And the kitchen is open onto all this living space, which is nice. Um, because here... At the kitchen, you know, I'm looking out at water. I don't really, I mean, I do see those houses there, but for the most part, I'm just looking at water all the way around, which I, which I do like. Um, this is a uh, Corian top. We have stainless appliances and wood cabinets. You know, it's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's probably the original stuff, though, 2003, so you know, it's 15 years old. Um, the tile throughout the main area is, is very nice. I, I like this tile. And uh, I'm not crazy about carpet, but in the bedrooms is okay. This is the master bedroom, which is really big. I mean, you can have your master bed and then a little sitting area or a desk over there. And, you know, lying in bed if the bed's right here, you know, you're waking up looking out at the water. So we just have green space. We have a little, uh, good size green lanai. I shouldn't say a little lanai. I'll take you out there towards the end. And um, again, plantation shutters here. His and her closets. The little one is his. The big one is hers. Um, not crazy about the vanity top in here. That is for mica. Could use a second sink too. Um, kind of like a double sink. It's got a jetted tub, little commode with cabinets, and then the shower we do walk in and walk around. So the bathroom, I mean it's a good size, I just, uh, I'd like to see a different vanity top in there. Maybe some granite would do too nicely. So, but it's a really good size master, and like everything else in here, it's pretty big. So you have this little um, eat-in kitchen area, plus the, plus the uh, family room area, and just to show you the lanai, this is all screened in. And it's, you know, the normal lanai would be here, but it has this bump out. So it makes the lanai pretty nice and big. You can see we're right by the entrance. That's the guard entrance there. So unfortunately, this is a somewhat trafficked area. The street over there is actually uh, Tuttle, which is not 
real busy, but it is uh, one of the main thoroughfares. Um, let me keep going here because there's another bedroom and a garage I want to show. You got a little pantry there next to the fridge. So, I mean, I do like this floor plan. And then we have double doors that lead into this room, which is a good sized room. And um, so it doesn't have a closet. So I'm not gonna call this bedroom. This, I guess, would be an office, but it's a really good sized room. Uh, this, is, this has gotta be 14 by 16, so it's a big room. So I guess that would be the office. We have a laundry, um, laundry room with a, with a wash sink, which is always important. And then the garage. And the garage is very deep, and so it's a big garage. You know, you got a lot of space there, plenty of room for big cars. I actually would move those storage shelves over here just because it's not as wide as it is deep. Um, AC looks to be in good condition, as is the uh, water heater, both gas. Um, so gas for the water heating is nice. And... Good size garage. I have no objections to that garage. Um, looks like there is uh, speakers in the ceiling throughout. This room does have crown molding, and so I, I'm sorry. This this is the this main area does have crown molding all the way around, um, but not everywhere else. So this is a pretty nice unit. Um, Sterling Falls, of the two that are that currently jumped out at me, I. Kind of like the one at McKay Falls. It's a better price. It's smaller, but it is it, it's nicer. But I do like this kitchen. Uh, I just like this floor plan, how it looks out at the water a bit more. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.